Hello, viewer. Thanks for joining us or for listening to us or whatever you're doing. This is Full Record Jacket with Full and Ben. And on this edition, things are a little bit spooky because it's Halloween. Now, I'm not normally into Halloween in a big way, no. but I did think of well, making... Well, you're not American, Phil, first No, time. exactly. But I did think of, you know, just for fun, you know I like making playlists. Yes. And I thought I'd make a playlist of um, Halloween or songs that are appropriate for it. Oh, you um, did send this to me uh, uh, yesterday, didn't you? Yeah, we, and I thought I'd miss off the glaringly obvious, like, you know, the Monster Mash and Thriller and yeah. Ghostbusters. But I thought we'd put, you know, go a little bit out there and find ones that are, you know, good as well as being appropriate. And I yeah. must thank some of my online friends because they've contributed to the, some of this. So I must thank uh, Sabrina and Philip and FC and Paul and whoever else commented on my um, my post the other day. But I've got, a, I've got a groovy list. I've seen this. There is one missing that you could have had on. Boy, is it the automatic? What's that coming over the hill? Is it a monster? Oh, I remember that. I've forgotten, all about, uh, I've forgotten about that one. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, you could have had that one, yeah. I could have had that one. So, shall we go through the list and see how see whether you know any of these? Yeah. So it kicks off with well, who else would it start with? Alice Cooper. Welcome to my nightmare. Not heard. I, mean, I mean, Alice Cooper's kind of a. I mean, you can kind of imagine what that's going to be like, can't you? But yeah. Alice yeah. Cooper's kind of a Halloween genre in himself, isn't he? Really. So he needs to stop dyeing his hair. That's what he needs to do. He needs to go grey gracefully. McCartney learned this. There's a lot to be said for going grey gracefully. Now, the Rolling yeah. Stones. A lot of people, if you ask them, what's a Rolling Stones track that's appropriate for Halloween? A lot of people say "Sympathy for the Devil." Yeah. But I would say, yeah, okay, I get that. But it's not, it's kind of, I don't Cliche. think it's really about, it's, but yeah, it's not, not about Halloween in any particular way. And I think um, another one that people can come up with, which is kind of clever, paint it black. But again, it's, you know, yeah, okay, I get get it, but yeah. it's not really. But the Stones have got a Halloween, what I think is a, a groovy Halloween classic, which is the opening track on 1973's album Goat's Head Soup, and that is Dancing with Mr. D. As it all takes place in a graveyard. Ooh. And they're dancing with Mr. D, and then Mick Jagger ends up dancing with Mrs. D as well. But I mean, what what else do you want but a, a kind of funky rock song about dancing it, in a graveyard with monsters? Uh, well, yeah, and as long as Mr. D is, is happy with Jagger dancing with Mrs. D... Um, and he isn't trying to get away with the double Ds. Uh, <laughs> there you go. So I, I think that's an underrated track for Halloween Dancing yeah, with Mr. Yeah. D. Um, I've also included on my list, I've included the from the Super Deluxe Edition, the Glyn Johns mix, which has a guitar solo, which I think must be by Mick Taylor, which is not on the final version. So it's a I've put a groovy version of Dancing with Mr. D on this list. We'll put a link below. Um, David Bowie, any idea what the David Bowie one is? I suppose he's got a few songs that could be a bit spooky. It's going to be Scary he? Monsters, isn't it? It's Scary Monsters and Super Creeps, the title song. And then John Lennon, track from the Walls and Bridges album. Can you think what that would be? No. Scared. <laughs> yeah. Um, got a B-side from Madonna, uh, which is the B-side of Cherish came out in 1989. You've gone full on nerd, haven't you? Chris? I have. Um, and this is, you can get this on the Like a Prayer expanded edition. This is a song called Supernatural, in which Madonna basically, it's a funky little song in which Madonna has an affair with a ghost. What, what else could you want? Yeah, I mean. Um, then, just for some familiarity, I've plunked in there Warren Zevon. What's Warren Zevon's Halloween classic? Werewolves, yeah, for London. Werewolves of London. That's it. Yeah, and then I've gone a bit spooky. Um, Tom Waits from his album Mule Variations and a Spoken Word. What's he building? That's that's Lego. just because it's kind of spooky. You you got to ah, hear that track to really yeah, get it. Yeah, but it yeah. is kind of spooky. But it's about 
he's spying on the neighbor and wondering what he's building and it's all weird so and that goes to um another veteran bob dylan my own version of you which you kind of got to hear to believe it but it's um it's a weird one but it's but it's bob bob is most spooky i'll leave it spooky i'll leave it bob. it's a little bit spooky um johnny cash after that ghost riders in the sky you must know that one i think i have heard it yeah it doesn't ghost, it doesn't old song but i think it's not the original version it's, many have done that one but uh johnny cash kind of i keep wanting to go riders in the storm it's the it's the Cowboy who sees the ghost riders in the sky, you know? Nah. Um, PJ Harvey, Meet the Monster. From, I do like a bit of PJ Harvey. That's from um, To Bring You My Love. And then The Cure. Can you guess what song is by The Cure? I mean, they've, po- they've possibly got a few spooky contenders, haven't they? But I've chosen this one. Hmm. It's about being eaten for dinner. Spider Man is having me for dinner. Tonight. Oh, lullaby, lullaby. Yeah. Then I've gone, gone all arty, and I've gone with a chat from an album by this band, which some people didn't like. Um, what the NY- band or the track? Well, the this track, this album was a little bit sort of mixed reception, but it's it's the title track of the album, NYC Ghosts and Flowers from Sonic Youth. Mm-hmm. And that's followed by Dusty Springfield. Now she's got a bit of a Halloween classic. What's the What's the Dusty Springfield one? Do you know that one? I wouldn't have a clue. I, I did look at buying some Dusty Springfield. I, I'm sure I've got some Dusty Springfield in my collection back here. Just I can't find it. She is great, but she's got one called Spooky. Mm. And then I've included a track from. Well, I know this track from Quentin Tarantino's Kill Bill movies. Uh, it was used in that, but it was originally from a film of the same title, which I believe is about someone who kills his mother or something something pleasant like that, uh, a bit of a horror film. It's called Twisted Nerve by Bernard Herrmann. It's the whistling one. Do you know that one? I do, yeah. yeah. I, I'm glad you may pointed out this from a horror film because I was thinking, oh, it's got to be from a romantic comedy. Guy turns up, kills his mother, falls yeah, in yeah. love with. <laughs> it is odd, oddly enough, it was a it classified as a horror film. Falls um, in love with his prosecutor. The Blue Oyster Cult. What's oh, their don't song? Fear the Reaper. Of course, that had to be on there. Bill and Ted. That's what it always brings me back. Now, this is this is one that someone suggested to me. Um, Red. I don't know this very well, but I have I listened to a bit of it, and I can see it fits. And again, this artist, he must have a few songs that would work on Halloween. Nick Cave. Oh yeah, he's got um, bound to have some, isn't he? And red, he's a very right Halloweeny hand. kind of guy. He, he probably a... hates Halloween, but he's just got a yeah. face that looks like it should be he's lodged perfect. in Halloween. He's perfect for it, isn't he? Yeah, and then yeah. when we got a track by Lana Del Rey called "Season of the Witch," my daughter Rich. likes Lana Del Rey. I think she, I think she is very talented. I've not listened to a huge amount of it, but I think it's, I think you would, you probably like her more than Taylor Swift. Then maybe you should get into Lana Del Rey. I do have a Lana Del Rey album. I think I've got the first one on Sada. What is the track by Echo and the Bunnymen do you think I've got on here? It's one of their best known tracks. It's from, is it Ocean Rain, the album? Is that the purpley cover? It's where they're in a they're boat. On the boat. They're in the, on boat. the boat, isn't it? Yeah. Mm, no, no, no. Oh, you'll kick yourself. It's the Killing Moon. Killing Moon. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh Susie and the Banshees. What's their song, do you think? It's it's a it's pretty obvious, to be honest with you. It's it's the obvious song title for this October thirty first. Halloween? It's called Halloween. Oh cool. <laughs> <laughs> Talking Heads. No, I wouldn't. Know. I'm not massive. I, I don't have enough talking. I should get into talking heads. So I do like the lunacy a little bit of them. Yeah. Psycho Killer, they've got. Yeah. Uh... Now, this is an album that I know you've listened to. Um, and someone suggested this. And I thought, yeah, okay, I can see what you mean. But it's not really a Halloween song. But it's a song sung in the character of a serial killer, which I think is based on a true story. Um, it's the opening song 
on the album, and it's the title track of the album. It's by one of the biggest rock stars of all time. And it's a, an all-acoustic album. It's quite dark. You were listening to this um, over a year ago because we listened to a cover version of this album. Oh, um, Bruce... Nebraska. Bruce it's Springsteen. Nebraska. It's the title song of Nebraska by Bruce Springsteen. Yeah, yeah, I do remember. Um, okay, yeah, Ryan Adams did the cover, didn't he? Yeah. yeah There's just yeah. a darkness in this world. So maybe that yes. was appropriate. Now, you mentioned this earlier, uh, The Doors. Oh, Riders on the Storm. Riders on the Storm, because there's a killer on the road in, in that there song, of course. Killer so. on the road. Um, don't know this one. This is I've been I've been given this one. Um, can't remember who suggested it, but thanks to who, whichever of you guys did. Cry Little Sister by Gerard McCann. It's the theme from The Lost Boys. Yes, I, I do vaguely remember it. I think I don't know it well, but it obviously fits. I mean, it's been a long time since. If I heard it, I'd be like, "Yeah, yeah, yeah, I know what it is." But it's been a long time since all the Lost Boys. Yeah, yeah. These, these were going into some of the ones. I think that was Philip online who who suggested that one, and then we've got um, we've got another few that I've been suggested to me, which I don't know well. Thin Lizzy, the Hero and the Madman. That's got to be worth checking out, hasn't it? Once again, Thin Lizzy, another hole in my musical. Thin Lizzy, Thin Lizzy was an excellent band. I mean, they're sort what of. What was band the lead you, singer called? Uh, Phil Lynott. That's it. He's, he's can, passed away, hasn't he? It's just great classic rock. I mean, you can just put it on and you can just enjoy it. It's it's good stuff. Yeah, yeah. They were a great band. Um, the Yeah Yeah Yeahs. Heads will roll. <laughs> can't, you can't knock it, can you? Um, and of course, I, I didn't think of this one, but of course, it's an obvious one now. Um, Fleetwood Mac, Black Magic Woman. Is that the really sort of? Um, it's an early one, I one. think. I think it's a it's a I think it's a Peter Green era bluesy yeah, one. Yeah. yeah. So it's a bluesy song about a Black Magic Woman. Now I don't know much about Bat for Lashes, but they've got one called What's a Girl to Do. You could have Bat Dance by Prince from the... Um... Yeah, yeah, I think I've seen that mentioned somewhere. Is that really Halloween? I suppose it's a little bit halloween is because it's got Jack Nicholson as the Joker and it's a little bit kind of... Yeah. I suppose it's... Yeah, yeah it kind of fits the mood. I, 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 obviously, me being, you know, a fan of Prince, I was trying to find, think of what was oh, a yeah? Prince... What, yeah, what a song, what song by Prince could be... Never mentioned it. <laughs> what could be suitable for Halloween by Prince? And I... I did see people suggesting bat dance, and I thought, oh, is that the closest he got? Maybe it is the closest he got. Um, maybe the spookiest he got. Um, the Ramones, they've got one. Pet Cemetery. Wasn't that also a series of films with Edward Furlong? Yeah, I don't know. I, yes, I don't know what um, where there's a connection. Um, and then we're going into some heavy rock here. Uh, there's another Alice Cooper one. I love the dead by Alice Cooper. <laughs> that, 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 whether... He is not getting a job at the local mortuary, is he? Um, Kiss, God of Thunder. I don't know that track. No, so, no. Well, no. if it's Kiss, it all sounds the same. Well, yeah. God gave rock and roll to you, which is possibly one of the best rock and roll songs of all time. Um, Killers by Iron Maiden. They've got a track called Killers, which I did have a listen to, and it's pretty good. It's an Iron, Ma- yeah. it's Iron Maiden, you know. Yeah, yeah. Um I don't know much about Lizzie Borden. No. But B O R D E N. But she has a song called Psychopath. Um You normally get them on the side of roads now, don't you? <laughs> sorry, cycle. Oh, sorry, yeah, yeah. Um <laughs> Dear me. <laughs> um, now, Sabrina in Florida came up with two here, which i thinking, yeah, okay, I get this. White Rabbit by Jefferson Airplane. That is spooky, isn't it? Yes, yeah, yeah. That is a good track. That's the track that got me into Jefferson Airplane I think back it's, in I think it's 2000. Really a- I think it's really about being on LSD, isn't it? But it's, it yeah, is yeah. scary as anything. Yeah, um, yeah. And then Joy Division's Transmission single. Yeah, I can see that. 
I can see how that works. Yeah. Yeah. No, I think I don't... just Ian Curtis's delivery on most songs is quite spooky. Now, the other one I've got on here, which I added on, someone said, um, Ministry. I don't know. Ministry, that's a heavy metal band, isn't it, Ministry? It's, yeah. I'm sure it is. Um, Every Day is Halloween by Ministry. Uh, no, that, that, I mean Ministry of Sound. I know, I know that because everybody had the annual too. Um, but no, they're they're not in my scope. Ministry. And then there's one by Pink Floyd. Now, can you guess what is the Pink Floyd one? No. It's on. I think it's on the. Is it Umaguma album? Uh, it's called Careful With That Axe, Eugene. Yeah, because if you're not trained, if you've not signed off the correct say systems of work on that axe, you could have a nasty accident, young man. The other one, um, it's this one by Leonard Cohen. Now, again, you know, you can sort of see how Leonard Cohen would end up on Halloween, can't you? Yeah, um, yeah. Avalanche from his album Songs of Love and Hate. Even just you saying that sounded sexy. And we've got another one from The Doors. It's the closing track on the first album, but The Doors. What is that, Ben? Oh, because it's the same as the... Um, it's the end, isn't it? Because it's the same as the track from Abbey Road. The it, Yeah. Same title, anyway. Same title, um, yeah, yeah. It's about all. It's about all there is in common with it, but uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, yes, it is the end of the doors. This now is, of course, Spotify suggesting other songs to stick on this list. I don't think it quite under, It doesn't quite get the Halloween thing, but it is suggesting Venus in Furs by the Velvet Underground. But that's quite spooky, isn't it? I mean, it's not really about Halloween, but it's kind of scary. Um, well, there you go. That's my fun and frights playlist. Well, I'm gonna, for I'm going to listen to that playlist on my way to go and do my shopping. You might enjoy it. Yeah, apart from heavy to, metal stuff. Yeah. Try not to scare yourselves, listeners. But that is our Ooh. Halloween playlist. Let us know what you're thinking. Is there anything that I've missed off there that we could have on as well? Let us know in the comments. In the meantime. Thanks for watching. We are frightfully grateful to you. We'll see you again very soon, we hope.